Welcome back to How to Build an F-14 Tomcat. My plans for today didn't exactly go as planned, which they rarely ever do, but hey, progress is progress nonetheless. So in the last video, I showed you guys I was laying up one of the flat molds. I've got that uh, mold here. I went ahead and separated it from the parting plane. It's been waxed, PVA'd, and it's ready for the second layup. Um, I Unfortunately, I put the PVA on a little heavy, so here in the around the perimeter of it, it's still wet. So I'm going to let that sit, and I was hoping to get that laid up tonight, but because it's still a little wet, I'm not going to be able to do that. So, uh, let's put that to the side. I told you guys for the, um, for the vacuum form canopy plug, or the windscreen plug, that I was going to put some sort of structure. See here, I've got the mold and everything. All I did is just took some, I believe it's 3 8 balsa, trace, put it along the back side here along the flange, traced it with the, the actual plug inside, inside of it, cut that out, beveled it so it would fit, tack glued it in with a little bit of a medium CA, took a contour gauge, which if I can find it for those of you who don't know what a contour gauge is, you can get these from Home Depot, Lowe's. Um, maybe even Walmart or any hardware store. Basically, it's just a little ruler with a bunch of little wires. You just take it, push down, and it gives you both a male and a female contour for the shape that you're looking at. So then I just took that, traced here, cut that out of balsa again, kind of uh, beveled it so it would fit, and then made another template to fit inside for the center portion so what I'll do is I'll take this to work put it on our big uh, belt sander and just sand it down so this whole thing just sits flat and then again I'll hit this with some uh, wet sand it all the way down to probably 2,000 grit or so polish it and send it off to the vacuum form guy and let him do his magic so essentially that's complete other than the belt sander and polishing it down. So we'll put that aside. I got the nose cone finished laid up. For this one, I uh, actually I put a layer of two ounce cloth on both sides of it just to make it a little smoother. Um, I actually made end up doing this on all the molds from now on just because it's a lot nicer to deal with instead of that. Um, that real thick 18 ounce cloth and you don't get any stray uh, glass fiber sticking off to, to give you splinters. So you see I've already trimmed it, knocked it off its parting planes and uh, basically that's where I left it off. I haven't trimmed it or I haven't separated the mold yet and since the the back side of the, um, the nose cone wasn't completely flat there's a little bit of trimming to do on the inside and uh, I'll actually make up another the actual nose cone a usable nose cone and then I'll put it back on the fuselage over there and get the fuselage exactly right to fit the mold now so uh, I'm just going to take a small screwdriver and start separating these mold halves Everything went as planned. This should hopefully come out with a nose cone that still looks like a nose cone. But sometimes you just never know what kind of surprises you'll get popping these things out.
how thick these uh, flanges are. Uh, it's total about three eighths of an inch, so it's just a little under two tenths of an inch per half. So they're pretty thick ones. There we go. There's half of it. What I meant by the back side of it wasn't completely flat. You can see here how some of the, the surfacing resin kind of seeped up under the back edge of the, the lip of it, of the, the nose cone there. So um, I trimmed this down and so it's nice and smooth with the rest of it make a nose cone a usable nose cone which that will be the first usable part for the whole model and uh, then I'll do a little bit more filling like I did previously on the, the nose of the actual fuselage there and here's a good little photo of PVA spray this stuff as a liquid and it dries in this nice little saran wrap plastic which just washes off with soap and water is to hopefully just put a little bit of shock into the part to help it release a little bit easier. There's just take a number 11 exacto and kind of scrape along some of that resin that ran up under the bottom side of it to help uh, get it off the balsa wood because it was kind of holding it in place there. There we go. There we have our nose comb, safe and sound in one piece. And our nose comb molds. And there we have our another set of usable molds out of way too many to count. So um, it's gonna be the last video for a while now. <laughs> I get to leave to go out of town for work tomorrow. 
Um, be in Chesapeake, Virginia this time. If anybody's near, you no, know, it's one of the airports over there. Anything about this beautiful spraying going on? Uh, welcome, say hi. I'll be out there. Um, so yeah, that's about all I've got for now. I can't think of anything else. Other than you guys have a good weekend, don't work too hard. So until the next video, y'all have a good one.